throwback to 2006. Kamala Harris speaking directly to her community, sharing her vision and dedication to making a difference. A reminder for those who keep spreading lies about her, she's been about the work from day one. I want to thank you for what you've done bringing us together and, and convening us. We've had a lot of time waiting to come out to talk with each other and bond, and it's, it's an incredible group. The criminal justice system is not working for the African-American community. I can tell you as the chief law enforcement officer for a major city in this country that it is not working. We see that in the statistics that you've outlined. Two million people are in the prison system in this country. Over 40% are African-American in spite of the fact that we only constitute 13% of the general population. It's not working. It's not working when we recognize that African-American men, the leading cause of their death is homicide. We overly are overly represented both as victims and as defendants and as witnesses. Our communities suffer because our babies hear the gunfire every night, so the seven-year-old has post-traumatic stress disorder and cannot go to school the next day and learn. The criminal justice system is not working for us. What I think we have failed mm -hmm. to do as a community, however, is own this issue of law enforcement. We talk about these statistics in the context always of it is unfair, it's morally incorrect. Maybe we have learned that from the church. It is morally incorrect. But nobody cares about that. You can look at Katrina. Nobody cares about the fact that we've got a bunch of young black and brown men in prison. That argument is not working. What I suggest we do as African Americans is own this issue in law enforcement and then define it in the way that works for us. Because it is a myth to say that African Americans don't want law enforcement. We do. We want our grandmothers to be able to walk to church and be safe. We want our babies to be able to walk to the park and be safe. What we don't want is racial profiling. What we don't want is excessive force. Right. What we don't want is to have our civil liberties and civil rights be stripped. But we do want law enforcement. So let's define it in the way that works for us by saying, I want community policing. I want a police department that works in my neighborhood and in my community that reflects the mores and the culture and respects my grandmother again when they walk in to talk to her. I want a system of, of, of accountability in the criminal justice system that says law enforcement needs to own crime prevention as much as it talks about long sentences. Because nationally, only 18% of serious crime results in an arrest. So if I, as law enforcement, with my responsibility to keep you safe, only talk about keeping you safe by sending people to prison for a long time, I'm necessarily going to fall short because the vast majority of that crime's not even hitting my system. So if I'm going to keep my promise to you to keep you safe, I better talk with you about what I'm doing in terms of crime prevention, which means recognizing that people coming out of the state prisons, 60% will recidivate if we don't get them in reentry programs, if we don't get them in job training, job readiness, get them in programs that deal with their substance abuse, get them in meaningful housing and employment so they don't recidivate. We could talk about it in terms of is it the right thing to do? Of course it is. But you know, I'm done talking about it like that. I'll just talk about it on this basis. If that person commits another crime, I have to spend $10,000 to try that felony. They sit in my county jail for $35,000 a year. I'm running a reentry program out of my office in the San Francisco DA's office that brings folks back into the community at an expense of $8,000 a year, guarantees them employment, guarantees them meaningful reunification with their family. And in that way, and in that way, fulfills my responsibility to keep my community safe. So let's redefine this issue in the context of public safety and just simply talk about doing crime prevention, investing in people coming out of prisons is the smart thing to do for law enforcement. Forget that it's just the right thing to do. It's the smart thing to do.